Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Newton's laws applied to track and field. Isaac Newton was an English scientist in the late 1600s and early 1700s. Newton's first law is that an object in motion stays in motion, unless acted upon by an outside force like gravity. As you can see, my friend Ashley and I are throwing javelin. Gravity pulls the javelin back down to earth after it is thrown into the air. This law also applies to throwing shot put or any other throw for track and field. At a more scientific standpoint, the force of gravity causes the moving planets to travel in a roughly circular orbit. Other forces have been too weak to change the orbits in any significant way. So, if the Earth were to have no gravity at all, we would be cast off into a straight line path in space forever. Newton's second law is force equals mass times acceleration, where the acceleration is dependent on the forces acting on the mass. If the force is increased, the acceleration is increased, and the more mass the object has, the less acceleration there is. As you can see, Ashley's sprinting down the runway. She plants the pole into the ground and hurls herself over the crossbar. The more mass she has, the more force is needed to lift herself off of the ground. As you can see, she's not able to get over the crossbar this time. This is because she did not accelerate fast enough down the runway. Still with the second law, in space, the motion of planets around the sun have constant acceleration. The gravitational force exerted by the sun continually alters a planet path, bending it towards the sun, although never directly at it, in a circular orbit. Newton's third law is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. When running or walking, your foot pushes against the ground. The ground pushes your foot in the opposite direction but with the same amount of force. Sprinters start with blocks to push against, so they move forward. The more force that is exerted, the more speed they have, and the more distance is covered from running. A force exerted on a planet by the sun is also felt by the sun. Because of the sun is hundreds of times more massive, the force has barely any effect on the sun's motion, although it affects the planets in a major way. On your mark, get set. <laughs> go. <Say> go, again. <laughs> go. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all remember that Newton's laws can be applied to lots of other sports or aspects of your everyday life.